Special shout out to all my patrons. Hey, explain your leap in logic on that one. No, when I said you're a fascist, I said debate leftist and leftist. Y'all really love how to be the how to be the tyrant ideology. What is fascism? Fascism, a way of organizing society under a government, usually, not always, ruled by a dictator who has mass control over the citizens in which the citizens cannot disagree. Great. What is leftism? Like, what do they specifically want? Let's see. They want stricter gun laws, which would lead to gun confiscations of citizens. That's actually not true. Liberals want stricter gun laws. Leftists are actually pro-2A. Like me, pro-2A. Let's see, y'all do not consider parents as the rightful, y'all are against parents' rights. How so? Well, for instance, y'all believe that, oh, parents shouldn't, parents shouldn't know what kids learn in school. Of course we want to know what kids learn in school. When have we, we ever said they shouldn't? We know what our kids are learning. Wait, when have we ever said they shouldn't know? Like, when have we ever said that? It's on CNN saying parents shouldn't know. CNN isn't leftism. CNN is liberalism. Liberalism and leftism are no, vastly different. Yes, because actual liberals actually believe in stronger border security. They are pro 2A. They're against free no, health care. That's are pro 2A. Wait, what's your problem with free health care? You don't want health care? Yes, I want health care, but I don't want it run by the government. Why? Someone's got to make sure the system's in place, and if we have free universal health care, guess what? It's going to be like Cyberpunk 2077. The rich get the best. The poor, they go to a off-shelf clinic, which in that game they call it the meat locker. That's what happens now. And that's basically it. That's exactly what happens now. No, it's not. Yes, it is, because healthcare is privatized. So the more money you have, the more you can afford. So let, me ask, so, let me, so let me ask you something. Does my parents have to have coverage for me to see them when they're in the hospital? Do you? I'm sorry? What do you mean? that's what free health care involves. Wait, I'm sorry. What do you what do you mean? Do you do your parents have to have coverage to have you see them in the hospital? No. What are you talking about? They wouldn't that that doesn't happen in countries with free health care either. What are you talking about? And plus, also, I'm pretty sure that when my parents go to the hospital, they get treated immediately, unlike in countries with free universal health care where they have to wait three fucking months. Wait, actually, that's not true. If you go to an ER in Canada, you're going to get seen immediately. Like if your parent, if you go to the ER, you get seen immediately. That's just how it. That's how ERs work. You might have to wait a couple minutes because they might have like a bunch of people there, but you are going to get seen that no, day. That's just how ERs work. I can't. I, I can't I hear you. Say that again. Literally moved. Try a couple of months. Couple of months. What are you talking about? That's not true. It are you talking true. about for like immediate access or like specific things? Because, yeah, specific surgeries might take a little bit, but that's just because we're like in America, we have the most the highest number of like specialists. So it's really easy to book surgeries with specific specialists here because we have the most of them. Most other countries just have like a higher pro uh, proponent of like GPs or like general practitioners. So that's why it's like easier to get like specialized surgeries and stuff here. But are we talking about like ER wait times? Treatment wait times. Yes, in free universal health care, you have treatment wait times. You have treatment wait times here. Yeah, but it's not as long as like three months. It can be. All the time. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, it can. What 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 are we talking specifically? Like are we talking just to see a doctor? Yeah. Like I want to schedule with my 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 GP. Well, in the US right now it's like 22 days. 
or do you want to like look at that versus like Canada? Canada, like Canada, you have a 37 minute wait time for a walk-in clinic. And what's your source of that? Uh, ctvnews.canada.health. Ah, uh, of course, something paid by Trudeau. Wait, <laughs> when, when? Wait, how else would a- we? How else would we calculate those numbers if not by the systems themselves, like the healthcare system in Canada? How else would we calculate those numbers? How about asking a Canadian? I have a friend who is in Canada, and her brother was in a bad car accident, messed his knee up, and guess what? He's still waiting to get surgery. Wait, I have a friend who's Canadian too, and she's bar- she barely waits any time for her surgery, for her like Canadian health care. Rich. Huh? Well, then she must be rich. What would money matter? They don't pay for health care. What does being rich matter? They don't pay. That's what I'm confused about. Well, well, apparently in a government society like Canada, which is seriously at the tipping point of socialism, the more money you have, the more power you have. That's not what social... Wait, can you define socialism for me? I hate to do the meme, but could you like tell me what socialism is? Like the Marxist, like, like, I don't want just like what you think it is, like the Marxist theory of what socialism is. Like, what is it? Marx theory. Oh, that's government owns everything. That's Marxist's theory on it. (laughs) Because if you look, if you want to talk about Marxist, Marxist believes that self-independence is a flaw and family is a flaw. Where in any self- wait? Where in in any of Marx's writing did he ever in Marx in Karl Marx's writing? Where did he ever say that family is a flaw? Like page number, like book and page number, it- please. I forgot the book and page number because I burned it after I read it. Usually, what I do still need to burn how to be a tyrant. That book's going to be fun to burn. I don't think you've read Marx's theory. Yes, I have. He said the nu- the nuclear family shouldn't exist. The nuclear family is a two-parent household. No, he argues that the nuclear family is like a proponent of capitalism, but that doesn't mean that the nuclear family shouldn't exist. He's just saying that the nuclear family like comes out of capitalism's need to like drive production. Oh, so having one breadwinner, one person taking care of the children and making sure the household doesn't literally collapse on itself is a production of capitalism. Well, yeah, specifically the nuclear family comes out of like colonialization, right? Because most native and like indigenous tribes, they didn't have a nuclear family, right? Um, They were collective. Actually, actually they did. No, they didn't. Because let me tell you, yes, they did. And in truth, most Native Americans are against Marxism. Says who? You had tribal. Most n- Native tribes were communes. They would yeah, essentially they be communes. Common. That's that. Communes are. If you live in a commune, you're existing in a communist system. It's a micro cause. It's a micro communist system, but that's what a commune is. A community is not communism. There What's the first certain... part of communism? Commune. Commune, but that doesn't mean that, oh, hey, here's a small community of people with certain rules of you kill it, you get majority of it. With certain rules that, hey, if you can't take care of yourself, you have no success in a tribe and i'm sorry but if you can't take care of yourself if you can take care of yourself that's against marxism no it's not because yes it is homie I, i'm i'm genuinely trying to find it... the line here I, I i feel like we are we are just like 
Sutton is missing here in our lines of communication. Um, but a commune is literally like by definition, by Google definition, is just a group of people living together and sharing possessions and responsibilities. That's communism. No, it's not. Yeah. Yes, it so is. Communism. Nice. That's communism by Wikipedia's definition is equal distribution. Well, here's the thing. That's what sharing Who's possessions and responsibilities means. Equal distribution. Here's, no, here's the difference. Who's in charge of the equal distribution? It would be a commune, so everyone would be collectively in charge. No, it would be. No, it would be the leaders. What the leaders? leaders? Not the whole. Uh, not the whole entire community. The leaders. Well, it just depends on the system you set up. Some people do it by community vote. Some people elect a chair to head everything, but then they have a board, like a board under them that helps make these decisions. I, I'm which I, does exist in communism? What What do you mean? Joseph Stalin wasn't a communist. He did have a. All right, let me rephrase that. Even if Stalin started out a communist, he eventually turned into a capitalist dictatorship. Where he created oh, a a yes it yes he created Stalin literally co created a an upper class. There is no there's upper only two class. There's only two classes in communism. Correct. Slave and no. master. No, it's the proletariat and the um, bourgeoisie are like the two. But but that's a pre-communist society. Like that's them trying to move to a communist society. They get rid of the bourgeoisie and they let the proletariat, which is the workers like own the means of production there is no ruling class in communism because communism is a classless state it's a classless there's no there's yes, no mark no. wait but you can't even you can't even say like the rich would rule because in communism there's no market there would be no rich there are no wealthy people in a true communist system yeah because it's only you got the rich the people up top there are no and then rich. you have the workers the people on the bottom that's what we have now that you're describing capitalism. Yes, but here's the thing. The difference between communism and capitalism, capitalism, you can build yourself to the top. Communism, you can. Communism is you're born on the bottom, you die on the bottom. There is no top in communism. It is classless. Yes, yes because... The only people who are recognized are the people on top. You're describing capitalism. No, that's communism. There is no top in communism. They are strictly a bottom. No. Dude, that's North what. Korea. That's a perfect example. North of Korea is a dictatorship, not a com not a communist society. North Korea has a market. They trade. That's not a communist society. And yet the people who are on the bottom, as you would say, stay on the bottom. Because it's a dictatorship, not a commune. It's not a communist society. It's not even socialist. Yeah. Really? It's not even so socialist? Oh, let's nice. see. Uh... No, the workers don't own the means of production. How could it be socialist? The means of production are owned by one person in North Korea. That's not socialist. And that's socialism. No, socialism is when the workers own the means of production, not one no, dude. Not. No, it's not. You want an example of socialism? Look at Germany 1933. The Nazis? Yes. Were fascist dictatorships, not socialists. They were quite literally on the opposite side of the socialist party. Actually, socialism stems from fascism. No, it doesn't. Yes. yes, it does. No, fascism, Marx argues that fascism is what happens when you have unchecked capitalism, that it is eventually going to create a fascist state. He argues the exact opposite of what you're saying. Uh, Marxist is communist. Socialism stems from fascism.
socialism is the step the leading step to communism marxist is it no, marx Carl... it's the leading step to, it is the leading step to fascism do you know what the acronym nazi translates to in english it's not an acronym actually it is an acronym But Nazi translates to, in English, the Left Workers Socialist Party. The Nazis were right-leaning. They did not give the workers the no, means of production. Not. The means of production yeah. went to their dictatorship. It went to one person. They no, they weren't. They were left Yes, they were. Go to, I want you to go to Germany, stand in the middle of a German street, and say that the Nazis were left-leaning and see what happens. You're going to get laughed out of, of the country. Would. A lot of people would agree with me. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. So let me ask you one question. You said the Nazis were left-leaning. No, they're right-leaning. They're, right they're okay, fascist dictatorship. And how come is it when that the right, who you call us yeah, fascists, yeah. so we believe in nice. family is the most important thing. Everyone should be armed. Parents have rights over the children. And people should live the way they want. Those are Yet leftist Nazi, viewpoints. Those are not leftist viewpoints. Yes, they are. No, they're not. The problem is, is that those viewpoints you have are counter to right leaning politics of what like all okay. people on the right are pat like yeah they are. They're inherently counter like what what the right do, like what the right votes on anyway, is benefits for larger corporations over the, the people. It's it's corporate over people politics. Okay, then how come we want to get rid of federal income tax and the irs yeah that's a bad idea how is that a bad idea the federal income tax should have ended in world war one no the federal income tax is like a necessity to run a, a capitalist country how would we run the country without tax who's gonna pay for roads who's gonna pay for for police who's gonna pay for firefighters who's gonna pay for all the the thousands of governmental services that we need income tax for how are we going to pay for that stuff i don't know you're anti capitalist i'm sure you'll figure it out well i don't believe there should be a market you do that's what i'm asking based on your your economic framework like i don't think there should be a market at all yeah. let me ask you something nice. market is important for everything let me tell you something if you a flea market that's ran by the people. Guess what? It's a market. You go there, you buy stuff, you have it. When we talk market about a – wait. When we talk about a market, what we're specifically talking about is like the economic – um, like the economics of a specific country. So like if – like hold on. Let me – let me pull up a good – so um, I want it – I want it like a political definition so that I can – uh. So it's a so the free market, if we're talking about like the free market, is just like an operation of economic exchange per supply and demand. Right. So when we talk about the market, we talk about specifically like money. Right. There is no money in a communist system because it's a commune. Yeah. Everyone oh, is everyone nice. is presented to each of their own um, needs. Right. You're given per your needs of others. Oh, how, how, why would others suffer? Well, let me tell you something. Let's say I own a potato farm. Okay, you need 10 bags of potatoes. I only have enough to produce five bags. Guess what? Those five bags will be taken and I have nothing to eat. Why you Well, feast. no, you would keep the potatoes that you need to live. Like you wouldn't, you would be given your fair share of potatoes and then you would get meat from the meat farmer, dairy from the dairy farmer. You would be given your needs. Why do you want to hoard potatoes? It's a matter of expression. Like I said, if everyone gets 10 farmers and I'm only able to produce five bags. You wouldn't be the only potato farmer. 
You will eat, but I will starve. No, you would get the food you need to eat. No, That's I what I just told you. I, yes, you would. No, I would because I got to give you 10 bags. And no, I can only everyone is given what they need. So if you need five potatoes, we would leave you with five potatoes. Actually, it would only leave me with one. No, we would leave you with what you need. So, like, let's say you have a family of five, and for tonight's dinner, you're having five baked potatoes. We would leave you with five baked potatoes. Then tomorrow, you'd get five baked potatoes. Then the next, like, what? let's say you're making mashed potatoes, so now you need, like, ten potatoes. So we'll give you ten potatoes because you need ten potatoes to make mashed potatoes. Well, here's the thing. People have different needs. Yes. to e Each person would be given based on their needs, yes. So let's say I have a child and her metabolism is 80% higher than everyone else. Yes. One of the one of the inherent writings of capitalism is from each according to his ability to each according to his need. So we would only take you take from you what you can provide according to your ability. And we would only give to you what you can take according to your need. That's the whole tenets of communism. OK, so if I could only produce five potatoes, we wouldn't take my more. Child, we, no, wait, from <laughs> each according to their ability. So if you can only produce five potatoes, we're not going to take more than you can produce. And we're not going to leave you with less because per your ability, you can only produce five potatoes and two each according to his needs. So you would get what you need. That means you would suffer. You wouldn't be the only potato because farmer. Because if you need to eat ten potatoes, I could. You are not the, and there could, there might be other food. Maybe tonight I don't eat potatoes. Maybe I eat, but in a in a country like ours, which produces so much food waste that we can feed three large countries like the next like over and over again, we're not going to run out of food. We have enough food. Now that. That, I can say, is the government's fault. Partially, but most of it's capitalism's fault. The, the stores don't make a profit off of this food, so they'd rather throw it away than give it away because they are interested in profit. It doesn't profit them to hire people to drive it to communities and hand it out. That doesn't benefit them. What benefits them is selling it, so they'd rather dispose of it to make room for new merchandise that people might buy. Okay, one question. Who uh -huh. made the law to where farmers can't reuse seeds? To where farmers can't? I don't know about a law about farmers not being able to reuse seeds. How do you reuse a seed? Simple. You plant it and nurture it. Yeah, but once it sprouts, how do you reuse that? From the other plant. They're basically saying like, oh, if you buy like a carrot seed, you can't use the seed from the carrot that that seed produces to make more carrots. I, I don't know about I don't know about these laws. I know that that like genetic farming, like when you farm um, like genetically modified food, they have like clauses in there about that. But I'd have to look up about like about seed laws. I don't know anything about seed laws, but if they exist, I'm assuming it's the government. But like the market government <laughs> capitalism. And also, wasn't it California, a leftist nation who said you cannot feed the homeless? California is not leftist. They're liberal. These are two different concepts. California is not no, leftist. They're left no, they're not. They have a governing they state. They have a state. So they're not leftist. They have a governing body, which would make them inherently not leftist. So the organization Antifa is not actually communist. Antifa is not an organization. They don't have any formal organized organized group. Antifa is more like a black, movement. The people in the black hoodies. Yeah, they don't have a form. There's no you can't you can't go to an Antifa meeting that's that's scheduled by some registered Antifa organization that doesn't exist. It's like more it's more a movement, if anything. But I think like every person should be 
Antifa, right? It just means anti-fascist. We should all be anti-fascist. And I am anti-fascist, which is why I Antifa. say... Which I say Joe Biden is nothing but a fascist pig. How? When he's, Na- like, he's the most center president we've had in like 20 years. No, he's, he's so not. Yes, he is. He's so center, it's, it's ridiculous. No, he's not. And name me a left-leaning Joe Biden policy. Well, I could tell you what he said. He said that, hey, ki- really? Oh, well, what about that time he labeled Christians and parents as domestic terrorists? He didn't label Christians as domestic terrorists. They're not on the domestic terrorist watch list. You can't find Christians I mean, anywhere on the domestic terrorist terrorism watch list. But you can find parents. No, you can't find parents on the domestic terrorism watch list. That's not they're not there. Well, not anymore because we no because never. Parents... He never put parents on the domestic terrorism watch list. That never happened. Also, he plainly stated that children do not belong to their parents. When did he ever say that? That was a few weeks ago. Oh my god! So if I look this up right now, I'm gonna find this. Yes. What was the context? Were you saying like children don't own parents don't own their kids? Because I would agree with him on that. He said, whose kids, whose kids, children belong to the state, as in the government. No, he's saying that when parent when kids are in the schoolroom, that they don't like they're not solely the parents. I just looked it up. He said they're all our children. And the reason you're the teachers of the year is because you recognize that there's not somebody else's children. They're like yours when they're in the classroom. He's saying that when the kids are in the classroom, the teachers are caring for them as if they're their own kids. I think that's true. And I think that's an important thing, right? That children, that parent uh, teachers want to care for the children in the classroom as if they're their own kids. Isn't that important? Yes, but teaching them about sexual activities is not caring. Who's teaching kids about sexual activities? You literally... And people say, I need to touch grass. Apparently, you need to touch grass. Oh, wait, that's not an answer. Who's teaching them about sexual activity? Teachers? In what district, in what age group? Like, it's such a generalized claim. You have teachers saying, oh, kids should be taught sex ed K through 12. No. Yeah, we we have the numbers on this. So sexual health education, they should absolutely be learning. They should be learning about their body parts. Like that, yes, because we actually show like that lowers childhood essay. Okay, but what about books with sexual activities in it? Yeah, so and everybody. There are videos. Well, wait, everybody there would agree are... with you. Everybody would agree with you that depending on the age of the kid, they should not be reading books like that. But like, it depends on what what age they are. What's the sexual activity? Like, all that depends. That's so individualized. Like a sixteen year old can't read a book with a sex scene in it. I think that's like a little. I think like why not? They're sixteen. They're probably already having sex. A nine-year-old? I probably wouldn't let a nine-year-old read a book with sex in it. Like, yeah, probably. Well, anyway, I gotta go. I'm almost late for a off break. Holy shit. Okay. Uh- What the fuck just happened? <laughs>